Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. My name is Michael. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up and use Apple Pay on your iPhone and your Apple Watch. This is by far one of the most convenient features of owning an iPhone. So it works with iPhones that have biometrics. So if your iPhone has Touch ID or Face ID, you can set this up and start paying in store right away and also online. So first I'll show you how you can get it set up. You wanna open the settings and first make sure that you have Face ID or Touch ID set up on your iPhone. So here inside settings, uh, if your phone has Face ID, it'll say Face ID and passcode, or if your phone has a home button, it'll say Touch ID and passcode. So click into here, enter your passcode and set up a biometric. Once you have that set up, you can now set up Apple Pay. So scroll down a bit and click on Wallet and Apple Pay right here. And then you have the option to add a debit or credit card and also a transit card. Now quickly, one thing that's really cool about adding a transit card is if your phone dies, you can still use this transit card feature for up to six hours, I believe. So it uses a completely different little chip inside your iPhone. So if your iPhone is dead and your screen is completely black and you try to turn it on, and you have added transit cards before on your iPhone, there will be a little bit of text on your power off screen that says transit cards will still work. So this is pretty cool. If you're out and about and you wanna get home via, let's say the subway in some metropolitan city that supports this and your phone dies, you can still scan your dead iPhone and get onto the transit, which is a very convenient feature. So to set up Apple Pay, click on debit or credit card. And then you can read this and you can also see how your data is managed. Uh, if you're curious, Apple has all their terms and conditions here about Apple Pay and privacy. So just hit continue. And then the default way to add your card is to scan it. So Apple tells you to put your card within the frame here and it'll pull all the details off your card, such as your name, the card number, the expiration date, and more. You can also choose to enter these card details manually if you'd like to. So you can see it asks for your name and your card number. And once you enter all this, it'll go to the server uh, and verify that all this information is correct. And then it'll have to verify your identity, either by sending you a text message, by phoning you, or in some cases, you might have to phone your bank. In some cases though, there are easier ways to add your card to Apple Pay. So here in Canada, my bank is RBC and they have another app on the App Store, I believe called RBC Launch or RBC Wallet. And that allows you to see all of your payment cards that you have available. And with just a few taps, you can add all of your available cards to Apple Pay. So my recommendation is to open whichever banking app you use and try to find your cards to add to Apple Pay. There'll be a little add to Apple Pay button as it's a lot easier to add it directly through the app instead of trying to scan each card or enter each card number in the setup. So once you have added your cards to Apple Pay, you'll be able to find them in the wallet app. The wallet app is a dark icon. Just click on it right here and all of your cards will be here at the top. If you have an iPhone that supports Touch ID, the fingerprint scanner, in my opinion, it's way more convenient on phones like that because you can simply place your thumb on the home button and then hold your phone near the payment terminal and pay it just as easy as that. But if you have an iPhone with Face ID, it's a little bit uh, different. So you have to double click the side button. It has to scan your face and then it says hold near reader. So if your face is covered, which I'll show you right now, you can see there it says pay with passcode. So if I click that, you can still enter your passcode if you want to. Something that is very strange though is Apple supports a feature if you have an Apple Watch called Unlock with Apple Watch, where if you're wearing your mask, your iPhone can still unlock if your Apple Watch is authenticated on your wrist. Now, unfortunately, this does not work with Apple Pay. I don't know why. I wish Apple would bring that to the iPhone though. If you have an iPhone with Face ID and you try to double click the power button but nothing happens, your phone only locks, open settings and inside wallet and Apple Pay settings, just make sure this toggle is turned on right here. Double click side button as it'll let you access all of your cards uh, simply by double clicking. So just make sure that's turned on. So now let's talk about the Apple Watch. In my opinion, this is the most convenient way that you can use Apple Pay as once you put your Apple Watch on and enter your passcode, your watch is authenticated and it knows it's you because it never comes off your wrist. So open the watch app. And then right here in Wallet and Apple Pay, uh, just go through the exact same steps that you use to add your card to Apple Pay on your iPhone. Unfortunately, you can't just mimic the cards on your iPhone on your Apple Watch. You have to go through the entire setup again to add them on a different device. Once you add your cards to your Apple Watch, all you have to do is double click the side button and then you can see all of your cards right here. And then inside the Apple Watch app, you can choose which default card shows up first. 
I only have one, so this is my default card, obviously. It says hold near reader. All I have to do is hold it near the payment terminal and I can pay as easy as that. I am envisioning a future though where my Apple Watch uh, has a touch ID scanner one day. So how awesome would it be if I could just scan my finger and authenticate my watch when I put it on instead of entering my passcode every time? Uh, it would save a little bit of time and it would be very, very cool. And like I said, Apple Pay also works inside of applications. So inside of Apple Pay settings inside your iPhone, you can set up your default shipping and billing info. So the merchant will have that and you can pay with Apple Pay whenever you see this little logo here. So this is a food delivery application. And if I hit buy with Apple Pay, you can see it gives me the option to buy my noodles uh, just by double clicking the side button right there. And because this is a uh, food delivery app, I had to put in my address beforehand, but uh, I believe other applications uh, such as the Walmart app and the Target app also support this. So if you wanna buy something, it's uh, way more convenient to just use Apple Pay as it has your shipping and billing address uh, saved in the iPhone. So you don't have to enter that every single time you buy something. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand Apple Pay a little bit better. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, also tell me how do you use Apple Pay? Do you prefer to use it on your iPhone or do you prefer to use it on your Apple Watch like I do? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down below. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael. Once again, make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.